Victoria Street, please, Dom. No problem, mate. He's got you ready. Stevie Wonder. Everything about you is how I'd wanna be. Your freedom comes naturally. Everything about you has a How much? 720. Tyler, keep the change. Thanks. Yeah, all right. And, uh, good luck. <laughs> You'll need it looking like that. Payments in kind. Payments in kind. Keep your wig on me. No chance, you sweaty little bastard. All right, all right. No chance whatsoever. <laughs> hey. Right? No chance whatsoever. Bloody ever. I wouldn't go near you. Stop it. You're people ball. watching. You little slime ball. <laughs> He's got a picture of his kids on the dashboard. He's talking about him. What? He's crying. You forget crying. about payments in kind, love. All right, boys. All right, boys. Tracy, actually. And I'd like a multiple orgasm. On the rocks? Wherever, darling. I mean, sir. The groove is due! The groove is due! The groove! Cheers! 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 It's the end of your life. Oh, cheers to the end. Yeah. The end is the beginning, the beginning is the end. Did a doom groove! Come on, one for the bride, two for the groove. Not down in one. One, two, three, go! Hello, could I have a cab to Victoria Street, please? Hey! Romero's bar, love. Hey! How long? Excuse me! What? What do you want? How did he yeah, die? What, what? How did he How did die? Who? Mr. Swanky. <laughs> he bled to death, sweetheart. I cut his balls off. <laughs> Primarco, Tracy. Didn't get one any sooner, love. Why all this? Why, you're not, you're, you're not fooling no one, you know what I mean? I'm not bothering no one either. You're bothering me. If I'm bothering you, why don't you fuck off and leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what. What? It's more than bothering me, as a matter of fact. It's sickening. The last thing that I want, right? Alan, Alan, leave it, lad. Is some early ass nonce putting me off my ale? Time you went. Time I left. Get going now. No, look, love, I'm waiting for a taxi. I've just booked him to come on the road on the whip. Wait outside. Get in the ass. Sad! That's what it should be! Not gay! Sad! Oi! You can drink up too. What do you mean? Finish your drinks and leave. You're a prick, you. Nice one. Long story, but I'm outside now. Hey. Lone female feeling vulnerable. Listen, what is it we all love? What's your problem? I mean, hello? Yep. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Listen, this is just a stab in the dark, lovey. But I think I've upset you a little bit, haven't I? Oh, yeah. yeah. Shall I tell you why? I've upset you about that then. Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah. It's because they're confident about the sexuality, darling. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to kick off to prove they're men. <laughs> oh, I know. Are you saying I'm a queer? I'm just saying you're a little bit confused, my sweet. But don't you worry about that, because lots of men are. And to tell you the truth, I think it's rather cute. <laughs> hey, you're a sick bastard. Leave it. You're a sick, perverted bastard. You know that? Yeah. Why should I move? I'll kill you, you sick bastard. Why should I move? I'm waiting for the road. Come way down 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 the road. Hey, fuck off. You're a sick bastard. You're out because you're a man. And I will treat you like a man. Where you going? Canning Street, why? It's okay, I'll give it a lift. Tony. Thank you, Tony. I'm 
sorry, sorry about that. He's a prick when he's pissed. And what's his excuse the rest of the time? Good friend of yours, is he? He's my brother. Oof, you have my sympathy. To get that a lot, do you? Agro. Unfortunately. So why do we? Because it's who I am, darling. Have you been doing it long? Yeah. But always like that? What are you implying? You know what I'm implying. Well, I'll never pass as a woman if that's what you're implying, no. But it can pass as a man's fantasy of a woman. You know, like a tart and a whore. Anything. What got you into it? Have you never tossed it around in your mother's stilettos? No one to turn to any, no. <laughs> if you take your next left, please, my love. Like that, man. Yeah, aerials and satellite dishes. Well, look, Tony, I've heard it told before. What? Supposedly straight man professing an academic interest in my lifestyle. But I think we both know why you wanted this door, man. So, you can either come in with me right now and satisfy your curiosity, or you can carry on home, spend the rest of your life regretting it. It's been nice being with you. I'm dead. cloud that floats on high or vales and hills and all at once I saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze do you notice how fluttering destroys the rhythm of the poem it's impossible to make the lines scan if you pronounce fluttering as a trisyllabic word. And that's what words with intended, of course. De dum, de dum, de dum, de dum. And suddenly, that rhythm is shattered when he sees the fluttering and dancing daffodils and the chaos of nature. Who hath seen her wave her hand? Or at the casement seen her stand? Or is she known in all the land, the Lady of Shalott?
Hello. Hello, is that is that Tracy? Speaking. It's it's me, Tony. I, I was here last week. Oh well, I never dreamt it would be us, sweetheart. You what? You come back for your pen. What pen? Um. What, what are you doing here? I've come to see you. Right. Um. Oh, I'm just just in the middle of something right now. Right, right, but uh, no, wait, it's wait. Um, could you come back in an hour? Yes, yeah, sound. Yeah. All right. Okay, sweetheart. I'll see you then. Shit. Been drinking? One or two. <laughs> chin chin. Cheers. Am I okay to smoke? Fire away. What do you do for a living? Nothing, though. Trace is a good sign, girl. <laughs> How does she pay for this place? She doesn't. Who does? Simon. Simon? Yes, darling, Simon, the most boring man on the planet. Simon, who couldn't get a wank in a brothel. What does he do? Teaches English. Does he like it? He hates it. He's currently teaching romantic poetry, otherwise known as Deedum Shite. Oh, the mind, mind, as mountains, cliffs of fall, frightful sheer no man travelled. Hold them cheap, who ne'er hung there. Not as long our durance deal with that steep, deep, here, creep. That's a poem. That's what he longs to teach, but now it's de dum de dum de fucking dum. You go to bed, sweetheart. Yeah? Come on then. Come on. Someone's in a hurry. Want to see you again? I do. Well, do me a favour, darling. Next time, book by appointment. You turn up unannounced. You'll only be disappointed by what you find. Know what I mean? I want us for yours. Married men don't give them out. What makes you think I'm married? A lifetime's experience, lover. Got married too early. Couldn't go against the grain. Had to demonstrate your heterosexuality. And now you find yourself in a loveless marriage. Life passing you by. That nagging voice at the back of your mind asking, Oh, is this all there is? But you'll never leave her. So you snatch your chances like this. Oh, yeah, chance to explore. No harm in that. As long as nobody finds out, of course. Well, Tony, my love, your secret's safe with me. My wife's dead. I'm sorry. Did you have any kids? <laughs> Did you love her? I see myself off. Willows whiten, aspens quiver, little breezes.
dusk and shiver through the wave that runs forever by the island in the river flowing down to Camelot four grey walls and four grey towers overlook a space of flowers and the silent isle embowers the Lady of Shalott by the margin willow veiled slide the heavy barges trailed by slow horses and unhailed the shallop flitteth silken sailed skimming down to Camelot a bow shot from her bower eaves he rode between the barley sheaves the sun came dazzling through the leaves and flamed upon the brazen greaves of bold Sir Lancelot Could you be Dirty Secrets Limited, how can I help you? It's me. What do you want? What? I said, what do you want? You've got a date. We had a date, you missed it. I had a pint with the lads. A pint? A couple. What you got in the bag? Brandy. Piss off. What? I said piss off. Why? Why? Because I'm... I'm sick of you taking me for granted. I'm sick of being your dirty little secret, and I'm sick of you having to be as pissed as a fart every time you come near me. Yeah, but a apart from that, I mean... <laughs> I'll piss off. I'm gonna come back tomorrow. You can do, I won't be here. Are you going somewhere nice? No, there's a club in town for girls like me. I'd invite you, but I know you'd never have the balls to be seen out with me. Ciao, darling. I haven't got the balls to be seen out with you. But, but should I tell you why? Nothing like a bit of Dutch courage, is there? It's because you... Because you make no bleeding effort. You look like a woman. A real woman. I never claimed to be Cheryl Bloody Cole. No, I never expected you to turn into Cheryl Cole. But you're gonna have to do a lot better than old King fucking Cole if you want to be seen out in public with me. Someone's just have a go. Hey? What? Then you'll take me out. A long time dead. <laughs> she left the web. She left the loom. She walked three paces through the room. She saw the water lilies bloom. She saw the helmets and the plume of bold Sir Lancelot. Out flew the web and floated wide. The mirror cracked from side to side. The curse has come upon me, cried the Lady of Shalott.
Hello, Tracy. What do you want? Did I leave my pen behind? No. You look nice. Fuck off. Hi, Andrew. Watch head swivel, Tracy. Because you are absolutely gorgeous. Right? Right. Tony who? Tony. What are you playing at? Tony. I'm just hey, a mate. Tony, leave hey, him alone. Leave, leave him, leave him. There's nothing going hey, just on. leave him, you prick. Anything. What do you mean you don't believe me? Like, turn the news on. A major accident on the M62. Five mile tailbacks. So why not phone? <sighs> My phone was dead. But look, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry about before as well. When I saw you with him, I'd, I just lost it. I'm sorry. You're not good. You get nothing here tonight, darling. That's the wine and that's it. I'm just saying you're not good, that's all. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. A weekend away somewhere. Just the two of us. Where'd you fancy? The Lake District. All right. As soon as I can, I'll sort it. Promise. Let's see a quick one before you go. Thanks. Don't mean that kind of quick one, darling. All rise.
Goodbye. Bye now. Hello, darling. I've got an appointment uh, with Karen. Oh, right. Yeah. What's the problem, is it? No, not at all. I'm, I'm Karen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what name is it? Uh, Tremarco, Tracy. And I'd like to look like Cheryl Cole, please. Oh, oh um, I'll take that if you'd like to Thank take you. a seat. Do you use concealer? Not as a rule, no. Oh, you really should. It acts as an undercut for your foundation. Helps cover all those tiny blemishes and imperfections. It's also really useful for disguising dark beard tones. You're very brave. Why are you that bad? <laughs> no, no. I mean, we get a lot of uh, celebs here. I've never seen them get this kind of attention. Don't you mind everyone staring? I'd be offended if they didn't, though. <laughs> now, when it comes to foundation, I always go with a shade that's closest to your own skin tone. This one's from our liquid range. It gives a really even cover and a, and a natural finish. Is everything OK? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, sorry. I was just admiring your lipstick. Oh, right. Oh, oh, it's new. Um, yeah, we only got it in last week. <laughs> We've worked here long. Nearly three years now. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. But this is my favourite part of the job. I trained as a makeup artist originally. I do a lot of weddings and that. Oh, I'll bet that's in mine. <laughs> You've got fabulous cheekbones. So we really want to accentuate those. <laughs> Have you been married long? Twelve years in August. Oh. It's flown. What does he do? He um, fits aerials and satellite dishes. Got any kids? Not yet, no. But you'd like some. Could you just close your eyes for me? Yeah. So do you dress like this full time? No, it's not always practical. You been doing it long? Yeah. I repressed it a long time. But Trish is not the sort of girl that takes no for an answer. Oh, could you just look up for me? Yeah. Too many people waste their lives in denial. Always pleasing other people, never themselves. Yeah. And you're a long time dead. Oh, that's Tony's catchphrase. Tony? Me husband. Oh. He's always saying it. Usually when I'm nagging him about staying out late with his mates. Long time <laughs> dead. So come on. Is there anyone special in your life? Well, there is someone, actually. A block. Do I look like a dyke? Sorry. Didn't want to assume that's all. It's been about three months now. Ooh. Getting serious, then. Well, I'm not sure about that. I found out he was married. Oh. You've not mentioned it before? No, I did suspect it at the beginning, but... He told me she was dead. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I don't know what to do. You. Thank you. Well, look on the bright side. She can't be as gorgeous as you. You won't believe what happened to me today. What? I had a bloke come in um, for a makeover. Transvestite. Transvestite? Yeah. He called himself Tracy. Said he wanted to look like Cheryl Cole. I think I managed Myra Hindley.
Now, if you didn't pick up, I need to see you. Look, you might as well answer because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stop ringing until you do. Okay, I need to see you. Oh, come on. Just answer the phone, will you? Right, I'm, I'm just going to keep ringing. I've got to see you. Please, come on, Stacey, just pick the phone up, will you? Andy, please. You used to think it was my memory. What? Oh. This song, I thought it was my memory for years, and then I saw this, uh, saw somebody singing it at karaoke, and I realised it was my man and me. That's yours, mate. That's <laughs> made a lot more sense, you know. It's funny how songs get you like that, isn't it? But it just goes to show it's a tune that gets you. I'm straight, mate. All right. I'm just waiting for someone. She mightn't turn up, but if that happens, I'm, I'm just going to get off on my own. Okay? Yeah, okay. Just wouldn't want me to waste your time or energy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I do. I do. All right. I appreciate it. No problem. Can't blame the bloke for trying, though, can you? After all, long time dead. You, isn't it? Don't apologise. No need. I'm used to knockbacks when I'm Simon. I don't intend to apologise. You saw a can. I know you saw it. So how? How did you find it? You passed me in the road. I was Simon, thus invisible. And you led me to her. Why did you tell me she was dead? Because you were being a smart ass. Read me like a book, treat me like a mug. You condescending prick. She's beautiful. Yeah, I know she's beautiful. Right? There's nothing I wouldn't do to stop her from getting hurt. So just stay away from her, right? Well, what do you think I'm going to do? I know what you was up to. Sitting in that chair, inches away from my wife, nose against the tits, getting off on it, you dirty faggot. You don't play games with my wife. Right? You don't play games with my life. You go near her again, and I'll kill you. Right. I'll kill you. I swear, I will kill you if you do. Right. Yeah? See, I come from the real world, you see, you little prick. And in the real world, there's, there's no trannies, just pervs. There's no, there's no gays, just queers. You know something? End of. Never ceases to amaze End me. Of. Never ceases to amaze me. The lengths men go to to suppress the truth about themselves. Well, I'm glad you've finally shown your true colours, you spineless little prick. Because Tracy were convincing herself you weren't like all the others. All right, fair enough. She's had a fair share of married men. But you were different, weren't you? You came back. Not just once, but time and time again. The poor deluded cow. She'd started to convince herself you two had something special. You'd think she'd learned a lesson by now, wouldn't you? Because the one thing she should know is men like you never leave their wives to women like her. No, they don't, and he never will. Right? Do you know what she said to me? My Karen, she said, he asked for a Cheryl call. I think I managed to marry Henley. You see my phone, love? I did this morning. It's not in the car. Who's Tracy? I don't know.
wrong. I'm not spying this. What? I'm not spying this. No? I told her. Told her what? Everything. Just a wind up. Do I sound like I'm joking? Why? Because she deserves better than me. How did she take it? She's over the moon. Where is she now? She's gone to her mum for the night. I said I'd be gone by the time she gets back. So you best pack your bags. What? I've got to go away in the morning. I want you to come with me. Where? I'm working in the morning. Call me sick. Look, I'm not promising anything. Let's just go away for a few days. Eh? <laughs> See what happens. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Well, you better. Because I'm coming for you at nine in the morning. Thanks very much, sweetheart. No, no, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Very much indeed. No, I'm sorry, I'm just... You look wonderful. Oh, thanks. No, wait there. Thank you. <laughs> Are sure you all right to drive, darling? You look white town. It'll be fine. <laughs> On the day before the murder, Tony Baines made repeated attempts to phone you, yes? Yes. What did he say? He wanted to meet up. Why? To talk. To plan? No, to talk. Did you talk about his wife? Yes. You meet, you discuss his wife, he goes home and then murders her, yes? Yes. And then immediately phones you again? Yes. Someone's popular. Alan. Is that Alan the Neanderthal? Yeah.
Maureen. Karen's mum. And didn't you have any dinner? She carried the phone and put it in the I think you've been very brave. Some people say things like, oh, I didn't have the heart to do it, whatever it is, whatever bad news it is. And what they should be saying is, I lacked the emotional courage to do it, but not you. And it was even harder for you, because you've got physical courage. And you used to protecting people and shielding them from pain. And suddenly, you've got to tell a woman you love something that will crucify her. And the temptation to deny yourself, to go on, Sacrificing your own happiness to go on living a lie must have been overwhelming, but you didn't succumb. You did it. I'm so proud of you for that, my darling. I'm so proud of you. Young Simon used to lie in bed at night, praying not to wake up, to cease upon the midnight with no pain, but he kept waking up. He realised it. He had to tell his parents he was gay or kill himself. So he decided having a dead son was slightly worse than having a gay one. And that's why he told them. So even when he came out, he did it for other people. for me. Anything. You know, living a lie is inspiring us. Simon said that, dear, not me. It takes guts, endurance. I love my wife. I lost her after you, yeah, but I love Karen. How do, you, how do you tell someone you love that the last 12 years have been a lie? 12 years? I couldn't do it. It would have broke her heart. Better a, better a broken skull than a broken heart. And that's not... That's, that's not cowardly, that. That's not, that's not lacking emotional courage. That's, that's just being human. What are you saying? I killed her. I killed her because I couldn't eat it. I'm gonna have to weigh her down. I can't do that. I can't do it on my own. I can't move the body out of the boat and I'll end up sipping the boat. And I can't swim, so you're gonna have to help me. You've got to call the police. No, we can't. I can't. I can't. Listen, 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 listen. Let's just... 
Let's just do this together. And I think we'll live together. I think we'll go away anywhere you like. In any country you like. Just me and you. Just me and you. She's in the boat. <laughs> Your fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Yes. Can you explain that? It was in the boat on top of the body. I picked it up to defend myself. And if I don't help you? What happens if I don't help you? Huh? Would you kill me as well? Why had he put the body into the boot of the car? To get rid of it. You were helping him to dispose of it? No. Why the middle of nowhere if not to dispose of the body? I thought he wanted sex. I'm sorry. I said I thought he wanted sex. With a man dressed as a woman? Yes. In the car? Yes. With his wife lying dead only inches away? Listen, I have often had sex dressed as a woman. I get more dressed as a woman than I ever do dressed as a man. But I have never knowingly slept with a man while his wife lay dead just inches from me. I did not know she was there. Have you asked Tony Baines to give evidence on your behalf? Yes. Is he going to? No. Well, he was with you the whole time. He's confessed to the murder of his wife, so he's absolutely nothing to lose. If you're telling the truth, he would vouch for what you say, yes? Yes. How do you think it's going? You can never tell. You think they'll find me guilty? I don't think any such thing. I'll see you tomorrow. Look, could... Could you ask the judge a question for me, please?
For the avoidance of doubt, this is the accused. What shall I call you? Tracy Tremarco, Your Honor. Very well, Miss Tremarco. Go ahead. Thank you. Tony's confessed to murder, the prosecution says. And he's getting life anyway. So there's nothing to lose, so why not confirm my story? He's got everything to lose. Prison, when you've murdered your wife, that's hard. Prison, when you've murdered your wife to sleep with a girl like me, that's not hard, that's hell. Life in prison for a nonce, that's what they'll call him. Life for a nonce is absolute hell, and that's why he's keeping his mouth shut. This is how I was dressed when I was arrested. And it caused a bit of a stir right now when I just walked in. Happens all the time. Now, I don't know about you, but if I'm getting into a car with a body in it, the last thing I want to do is draw attention to myself. I doubt I'd dress like this. These are the nails I had on. French natural ivory, cost a fortune. Now, you do not wear these to drag a body from a car, put it in a boat, and then dump it in the middle of a lake. Similarly, these, these are the shoes I had on. Italian court, saddle stitched, 7.5 centimetre heel. How do I dispose of a body in these, when I can just about walk through the court in them? I'm innocent, members of the jury. Totally innocent. All rise. Members of the jury, are you agreed upon a verdict? We are. Do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty of murder? Not guilty. <laughs> All right, settle down, please. And is that the verdict of you all? It is. Sit your centre, please, darling. There she weaves by night and day, a magic web with colours gay. She has heard a whisper say, a curse is on her if she stay, to look down to Camelot. Lancelot said, her case is won. Knickers down, let's have some fun. And then the dirty bastard gave her one. The Lady of Shalott. <laughs> 